617-779-7937. We played the Vinatieri clip earlier. I've actually said this many times over the years that I don't know if the Patriots dynasty is going to get enough players into the Hall of Fame. And I started thinking about it because they announced the Hall of Fame class last night. Vinatieri had been making the rounds yesterday, and I heard him say that to Tom Curran on the Patriots Talk podcast, being all humble but saying, yeah, no, I should get in. Vinatieri should absolutely get in. He's a no-brainer. For sure. Hall of Famer in my estimation. He's uh, one of the uh, all-decade players, top 100 play. Like He definitely should be in. Yeah, and he's the greatest kicker in the history of the sport. And yeah. not that not that every position, just being the greatest at your position, should automatically put you in, but he's also a big-game kicker, and you know he won with multiple organizations, and yeah, he should be in the Hall of Fame. And I don't think Patriots fans are going to argue with me on this. But what I decided to do today, thinking about the Vinatieri clip, was go back and look at Some of the other dynasties, which are relevant to the Patriots, right? The Cowboys of the 90s, the 49ers of the 80s, the Steelers of the 70s. And look at how many guys the Patriots are going to get in and see how they stack up. The Cowboys, by my estimation, in the 90s have seven Hall of Famers. And I guess they could, in theory, add more. Uh, I don't count Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is a Hall of Famer. I don't count him as part of those Cowboys. If you do, Dallas would have eight. The Niners have seven. In the 80s, and this is including, uh, I should say, owners and coaches as well, like Jimmy Johnson and Bill Walsh, Eddie DeBartolo, Jerry Jones, they're all in. The 49ers of the 80s have seven. And if you want to count Steve Young, eight. I don't count Steve Young as part of that dynasty. Steve Young won another Super Bowl in the 90s. I think that's separate, but he at least was on the Niners in the 80s. He's a gray area to me, like Deion Sanders. If you want to give the Niners eight, fine, give them eight. The Steelers have 12, including Dan Rooney and Chuck Knoll, plus 10 players. How many are the Patriots going to get? Kraft should get in. We're all a thumbs up on Robert Kraft, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, Robert Kraft should get in. Bill Belichick should get in? I guess. Mm. Yes, he will get in. (laughs) No, Bill should get in. Even Even you'll say that. Even I will confidently say he should get in. I might question him as the greatest coach of all time, but he's definitely in the Hall of Fame. Isn't Dungy in the Hall? Like, Dungy's in the Hall of Fame. Like, yeah, he should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Brady, what do we think? Brady in? Next question. Yeah, but Dungy's in as a broadcaster, right? (laughs) I think that is why he's in. <laughs> and he the, did now. His work in the booth. Okay, Brady's in. Three. Gronk? Yes. Yeah. Four. Ty Law and Richard Seymour are already in. Mm-hmm. Five, six. We already established Vinatieri's a lock. Well, I said that. You agree? I totally agree. Okay. I think, I mean, outside of Darrell Rivas, that, and I don't know how, you, you have an asterisk here, so I'm sure you're going to explain that, but I think he's going to be the next Patriot in. Okay. Vinatieri, I think, is eligible for the ballot in two years. Vinatieri should get in. Seven. I don't count Revis or Moss as Patriots. But you don't they, count Moss. They are no. Randy Do you not? Moss? Count, you don't count Moss towards the dynasties because he didn't win. Well, or yeah, I mean partially that, but also, who do you identify Randy Moss with in his career? Not yeah, the not the Patriots. He set the all the records with the Patriots. But, I know, yeah. but, but okay. But answer my question: Who do you identify with him for his career? The Patriots, Vikings. Thank yeah, you. Okay, Minnesota. Thank you. Well, so there, well, so there's the question right there. But Boom. he still was a Patriot but he never in this won. great era. But he didn't win. Yeah. He didn't I know, win with the Vikings I'm either. I'm asking no, because I, but he, I'm didn't, saying, he wasn't part. We're talking about dynasties here. What? He wasn't part of the I, two chapters of I'm the telling dynasties. You, I'm telling you both. I'm saying both. I mean, Revis was only here for a year. He did win a championship, which makes him Deion Sanders E. Sanders was there longer with Dallas. Uh, I wouldn't count Revis or Moss. Uh, if you do, then we've, we've already hit the number of, like, the Niners and the Cowboys. How about some other names? Julian Edelman? Nope. No. Okay, good. And I, I know Patriots. <laughs> I'm Julian fan, Edelman. I've argued with Patriots fans about this before. I think there's a lot of Patriots fans because he was number two on the list. I think Kelsey might have passed him recently. I actually have to double check that. But Edelman was number two on all the postseason records after Jerry Rice. And it's like, well, he's got to be a Hall of Famer. Edelman never made a Pro Bowl. No. Like, Edelman is a Patriots Hall of Famer. He didn't finish in the top 10 receiving yards in any single regular yeah. season. Thank you. Edelman, to me, great big game player. Incredible clutch. Love Julian Edelman. Clutch player. Much less productive than somebody else we're going to get to on this list. But, but somebody that's I why trust, he's perfect for the Patriots Hall I of trust Fame. him much more. Thank you. He is a Patriots Hall of Famer. He is not a pro football Hall of Famer. I, I love Rodney Harrison. I am a yes on Rodney Harrison getting in, but I don't think he'll ever. Oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. Do you have those numbers? Uh, yes, I was going to say Jerry Rice, obviously number one. Uh, Travis Kelsey did pass him 1,467 yards. Julian Edelman, number three, 1,442. Rob Gronkowski, number four. Okay, wow. So so Edelman is has been passed on yardage. I don't know about catches and touchdowns and everything. I am a yes on Rodney Harrison, but he's not going to get in. I think we've learned by now the writers are biased against him or his peers are biased against him, which you know, poisons the well with the writers. I don't know what it is. I think Harrison should get in, 
And I would put him in the Hall of Fame, but he's not going. I'd put him there, too. His numbers aren't slam dunk numbers, though. He only has, like, three all pros. He's only a pro bowler twice. You know, like, he was on no, but a, it, some good teams. But this is what I'm talking about with, player, with peers and writers being biased yeah. against him. That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. But even if there wasn't a bias, I'm not sure those are slam dunk Hall of Fame well, numbers. But I'm saying the bias kept those numbers down. That could be. Yeah. I'm saying, you know, when the when the writers would vote, they'd talk to his peers and nobody liked him and he didn't make enough Pro Bowls and all pros. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. But Rodney Harrison, I think, should get in. I don't think he gets in. Logan Mankins, Willie McGinnis, Wes Welker, like, do any of those names jump? Should any of those players get in? Again, what? those are Patriots Hall of Fame players. And that's not to say anything against them. They're great players, but we're talking about NFL Hall of Fame. Is Wes Welker a Patriots Hall of Famer? No. Okay, good. Again, he never won. Okay, good. So I, I agree. Wes Welker, you said those are Patriots Hall of Fame players. I don't think Wes Welker should be a Patriots Hall of Fame player. Arkin, what were you about to say? I was going to say Wes Welker has... Big numbers, though. I mean, his numbers in New England were those type of... Now, he didn't win, that's true, but... So what are you saying? He should be a Hall of Famer? I don't know. He, I, I think he's more of a conversation with him than, than the other guys you just mentioned, for sure. And it's just the numbers? Yes. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan you're I can't yes? even believe that this is still a debate with Wes Welker. 100% what? deserves to be minimal Patriots Hall of Fame. He defined a position here. He defined a position in football. Yeah. And as Arkan said... receiver? I'm out yes, on this. Yes, 100%. I'm four, 100%. All, four all pros. I'm definitely out on Patriots right, Hall of Fame. Throw Oh, Danny Woodhead in there too. I, I think he's got how many all pros is Danny Woodhead have? I think he's got much more of a discussion for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I think than you all Patriots completely underrate what Wes Walker meant to the Patriots team. I don't want anybody. So good, Tom Brady missed him on a bad pass. Okay, but I don't. I don't want. How was like, that? How was that? Wes Welker's fault like that Tom the, Brady couldn't get him the effing ball. I like that you put that on Brady. I, I just I I can't put anybody in the Patriots Hall of Fame who didn't win. There's already way too many names that have to get in. If you didn't good, win, let's start getting rid of these guys from the '60s and '70s well, that didn't do anything. Board, oh, we got to keep hey, the old people happy. Appreciate the history of the league that's very disrespectful. Because I lived through an era where the history was actually much more interesting than I'm, these old offensive linemen no, no, no. that keep getting And votes. the Patriots Hall of Fame started out poorly because uh, they, were Ryan, a, they, they were a trash the, organization and they let in a bunch of players who don't yeah, belong in there. Ryan, those offensive linemen established the position by your own argument. Oh, so I'm sorry that, that I don't hold John just, Hanna in the same regard <laughs> as I hold Wes Welker. I, I'm out on Wes Welker in the Patriots Hall of Fame and in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Here's the takeaway. The Patriots are going to get seven, maybe eight, maybe nine if Harrison gets in. If you count Darrell Rivas or Randy Moss, they are going to get enough players. And that actually surprises me. Like going to, going and doing the research and comparing them to the Cowboys of the, the 90s and the 49ers of the 80s, I look at it and go, oh, you know what? They actually, they are going to be properly represented. For years, I'm like, they're never going to get enough Hall of Famers. And the fact that Seymour and Law are already in, we assume that Brady, Gronk, Vinatieri, Kraft, Belichick, at minimum, are all going to get in. That is about the right number. They, they might not catch the Steelers of the 70s, but they are going to be properly represented in the Hall of Fame. I don't think they're getting stiffed or screwed or anything like that. Texine brings up an interesting point to me. Uh, since Vinatieri's obviously getting in, Steven got Skoutsky. Haven't you brought him up to me before, Arkan? 13 I think so, years. Yeah. I would be a definite no on him. Okay. Me. I mean, he's I, I'm a just, winner. I'm just answering it my way. He is, but just how many kickers do we want in the Hall of Fame? Now? That's what I'm. <laughs> like, well, that's why I prefaced it yeah. with, okay, Vinatieri's in there. Right. But right. Well, so I, I do think it has to represent. I'm okay the with letting longevity a kicker like, of the two different chapters of the dynasties. Yeah. So. Uh, Goskowski could go in the Patriots Hall of Fame if you want. Definitely I guess. in the Patriots Hall of Fame. Everybody's no getting into the Patriots Hall of Fame. I'll let him in there, I guess. No, not everybody's getting into the Patriots Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, not Wes Welker. Yeah, we're keeping Welker yeah. out. That's true. We're, we're shutting the door on Wes Welker. <laughs> Wah, he won with the Broncos. So, I, uh, no, he did not. He did not win with the Broncos. No, he got he got smoked by Seattle. Right, that's right. Now he's, now he's a losing player, and he had to wear that so, big great kazoo helmet. <laughs> oh god, that was so painful. Yeah. It was so, so painful. Uh, no, I, I, I just. I, I, if you want to let Goskowski in, fine. I'm, I don't need too many kickers in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You can't have two. I think there's from no. from the no. greatest uh, three dynasty when Nick Folk retires. It's going to be an emotional day, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Stop Sorry, it. that's right. Wes Welker played nine, eight games for the St. Louis Rams in his very last so, year. So I'm surprised, but the Patriots are going to be properly represented. They are going to get enough Hall of Famers compared to these other dynasties. And you could argue they won more, so they should get more. And if that's your argument, fine. But I think they are going to be properly represented, assuming these names get in. Six one seven 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 nine. I think Randy Moss counts. Seven ninety three seven. If you count them, they're they're borderline going to be there in the next couple of years. Never mind Reeves and other names like that, or you know Ryan's dream of uh, getting Wes Welker in there.